they tell, they putting it out there for you. Go ahead, keep on going. You know, they putting it out there for you. I'm like, how is they gonna tell the story when everybody was asleep? Right. Okay. What books did he write? Right. Which books did Jesus write? Right. Did Jesus write any books? Right. Now, just like Apostle Paul, never met the man. Right. So, uh, 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 so the gospel according to Paul, talking about Jesus, how are you going to talk about somebody you never met? Right. But you're supposed to be the apostle. But right. you're supposed to be one of his disciples. So, so you saying that the Bible is not an absolute truth? No, it's not. Come on, man. There's really? a lot of stories. You know God going you know God gonna get you for that. How is he gonna get me for that? Because you can't say that. I can't say that the, the, the Bible is yeah, not true. That's God's word. Yeah, but who wrote it? God. <laughs> God wrote it. I thought the disciples, all of them, John, Matthew, all of all of them never met so called Jesus. Yes, they did, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Isn't there a name on the books? Yeah, their name is on it. But on I, the thought, page? I thought it was King James' name is, is on it. Is their name on the pages or is it on the actual oh, yeah, manuscript? But, it, but it's, it's on the pages, but the manuscripts, what manuscripts? There, there aren't no original manuscripts? Yeah, there's originals, but not theirs. See, they, they it's took It's got to be. They took the story and changed it to their story. No wait, like, wait a minute. They're like Paul, when you when you when you open the when you open the Gospel of Paul, what do you say? It's an allegory. What does allegory mean? So that's what he means sure. when he says that it requires faith to to accept this. There is no evidence. No, there's no not see one because thing. because they're not talking spirituality. See, they're they're talking religion. Religion okay. is nothing but control. All that's right. it. See, they gotta understand what religion means. So, control. Okay, so that's spirituality. Ain't no spirituality. And all that's made up. Whatsoever. All that's well, made yeah. up. Right. Because you go to the, uh, hey, what's it called? What's it, what, 325? The Council of Nicaea. Right. Okay. Well, they tell you the truth right there. So what they do at this council? They got all these popes together, all these, what, what, over 300 of them, but put them together and say, well, this is what we want y'all to write. This is what we did. But see, they forget about Aries, the African. Okay. Say, yeah, Aries. You know, Aries, like, hold up here. This ain't true. We can't go, y'all can't just make up a god. So, Aries was a saint? Well, you want to put it He was a part saint. of the church, right? Yeah, he was a part of the church, but not the European church. So, so he was against he what was they against? put together at that council. Right. Okay, and his name, how could you look this up? What his name is? Aries. Aries. Right. From? Aries. Hey, where was he from? He was from Northern Africa. Northern Africa? Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, but you got to remember the first three popes were Africans. Okay. And they didn't believe in what the Europeans were putting together. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> they didn't. Okay. You know, just like, just like the first three popes that they had were African. And then that's where they got the word Latin. They used the, the, the Catholic Jews Latin okay. in the first place. Okay, but so see, let me ask you a question. What do you think about the uh, Burn White Jesus Challenge that's on Facebook and YouTube? It's, a, it's an eye-opening. We got to understand we've been brainwashed all these for 2,000 years. Okay. On somebody who's never existed. Okay, so. It was made up. Wait a Constantine minute. Constantine and all them wanted to be Egyptian God, just like the Egyptians. So he made him up. So you telling me that white Jesus never existed? Never existed. Wow. So are people wrong for setting the image that man made? Yes. Are they, they are they wrong for setting it on fire? Well, okay, what well, we got the new Pope, what's his name? Francis? Mm -hmm. Ask him. Who he, he? who he prays to every day. Who he prays to? The black Madonna. So he don't pray to white Jesus. But he yes. promotes it. Well, he promotes it. But, in order but, for the church but to... after he promotes it, then where he goes back into a little chamber and prays to the black Madonna. Wow. Wow. See? So, does it make a difference if you have a black Jesus or a white Jesus? Why? Right, because he, he don't exist. Right. It's a lie. Right. He don't exist no matter what nationality you want to make him. Right. Even so, though the Bible says he had woolly hair and skin of bronze, well, all of a sudden, why you got long, greasy hair and blue eyes? Okay. Okay. See, so why? So the Bible is contradicting itself, ain't it? 
Right. It's saying two different things. Right. It's saying he looks like this in the Bible, but but the pictures, pictures. in the book promotes right something else. Yep. Holy. Okay. Well, that's so, cool. So when I get to do my thing, I'm getting with you. Okay. And I'm gonna do it right. You gonna burn it right here on New New Black World or the TV. Right. All right. No doubt. And what's your name for the for the for the um viewers out there that watch New Black World or the TV? Larry D. Bush. Larry D. Bush. This is my man Larry D. Bush. He out here dropping that science. You know what I'm saying, brother Ben Two. It's all about science. That's right, brother Ben Two. One of my lectures that I had um on uh did Islam pay a part in the destruction of Africa? And he was there. You can see him in the video. Uh, I, I guess y'all recognize the face. He's on the video there on the same channel. So, brother, uh, whenever you get ready to actually burn that image, because I know you already did it in your mind, but it's therapeutic and, to actually do it. Yeah, and the Last Supper, too. What? Because back then they didn't have tables. They, they sat down they, on they, the floor. Yeah, they sat on the floor. So where so the table come from? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even eat at table. Wow. They sat on the floor. So wow. I mean, that's a lie right there. How um, many lies are in this story? Oh, it's uncountable. I mean, you can't count how many lies, especially those who are out here preaching the gospel of the Apostle Paul. Right. They telling you lies straight up because he already tell it's an allegory on all wow. he's saying. And then a lot of people got to understand what is uh, hey, what's the word for the Europeans that Paul used? And then a lot of black folks think that they are, they're it. Anointed? No, no, no. Christian? No. Uh, I got so much on my mind, boy. These words. Uh, Gentiles. Gentiles. Right. Oh, okay. See, look up the word Gentile. And what so it means. What are you, you saying? The Gospel of Paul, and he writes and explains you to about what a Gentile is. He's not talking about the Africans. He's talking about the Europeans. So the Africans that are under the spell, they're thinking that they're, they're Gentiles. thinking they're Gentiles and they're whites are the chosen people. Right. right. See that word Gentile. Everybody said because I didn't question people. I think, are you a Gentile? Oh yeah, yeah. The Bible says I am. No, I don't. Read the. You got to read the Gospel of Paul. Oh, completely. He's saying the Gentiles are nothing but Europeans. Okay. And then a lot of his stories, he already says, he explains it. It is nothing but an allegory. Okay. And our people take it literally. And we, but we've been brainwashed for 2,000 years. How many years? 2,000. Wow. But we've been here. Look at look at the the African ancient calendar. We we're not in 2014. Right. We way beyond that. Right. Exactly. Because the Africans understood that a great year was 25,000 years. Right. See, you, oh, that's right, you already had that in your See, y'all be reading, man. Y'all yeah. be checking it out. Yeah. But since I know that's you, oh, yeah, it's all good now. As soon as I get my material together, it's on. That's right. This is New Black World Order TV. You know what I'm saying? We're going to come at y'all like every week or so with a new video from different brothers that's out here studying. This brother right here is doing a lot of studying. He's also preparing to, you know, do a lecture here in Richmond for the people here. And what would you like to say about your upcoming preparation for a future lecture to give on a particular subject? I'm going to be all the way live, and if I step on toes, hey, be ready for it. But the right, because you know be them told. Hebrew Israelites will get at you. Oh, it don't matter. You know them Christians will get oh, at it you. It don't matter. They just better wake up to the fact that we've been brainwashed and it's time to wake up. This Brother Larry right here, Brother Larry, one of our scholars we have right here in Richmond, Brother does a lot of studying and I appreciate the fire that he got lit in him. You know what I'm saying? It's time to wake up, people. It's time to wake up. You see my comments I be making on a lot of statements I be saying. How can people find you on Facebook, Brother? Oh, just go on to Larry Bush. All right. That's it. Larry and Bush. I ain't afraid. Want to speak? Just speak. Right. But I'm because once I get my laptop, Oh, I'm going I'm to print a whole bunch of stuff right on Facebook. Right, right. Straight up. It ain't going to be on my timeline. It's going to be straight out on Facebook. Okay. On how we need to wake up and get together. So how did how did you enjoy the uh, the lecture that uh, New Black World Order gave that you attended? Oh, I'm, 
Uh, I'm trying to get more time where I can get back into it and be there at more meetings because, you know, the way I've been working and everything else, and it makes it hard, but I'm going to try to get into it. But I'm going to throw a lot of stuff on, on Facebook. Okay, okay. All Straight right. up. Do you enjoy the food that we prepared at the meeting too? Oh yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's healthy. You like the we food gotta, drive and the food drive we Yeah, do we got to do that a lot. Uh, yeah. We got to really pick that up. Right, right, right. Because you know the New Black World, we, every time we have a lecture or a debate, we also do a food drive to give away food. Yeah, we food. also got to get the people to come off with some of them dollars. That's right, that's right. Cause we got to put that dollars together right. and then get out here and help each other. Right, because basically we've been financing the, the meetings our own self. Right, that's yeah. what I'm saying. We right. should have right. passed that hat. That's right. Passed that's that right. hat. Because it hat. does take finance to uplift even any though, movement, even nation, or program. Dollar. Even that's right. if it's a dollar and everybody's up in there handing at least a dollar, it's going to make a difference. That's right. But my main objective right. and what I'm coming at right. is about race. Okay, okay. And that's what we got to understand. It's about us unionized together regardless of what your religion is. Okay, and unity. We, yeah, that's right. Unity. And it's not about religion. And I'm not going to be talking religion. That's right. Spirituality. New black world order. You see us as a world order, a world people, a global people? Yes, because you, Africa. I've, I've been saying this, wow, I guess since I was in high school. When Africa unite as black people all over the world, we will be free. If Africa don't unite, we in trouble. All right. That's it for uh, Brother Larry until next time. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all appreciate what we got coming forth from the brother. And um, until next time, this is New Black World Order TV Productions.